Mr. Speaker, the, the, the majority leader is right, and you are equally right, that persons who need help must be given help. But, Mr. Speaker, persons who need help are already being given help. This year alone, this year alone, personally, and we are just in February. Today is February what? 8th. This year alone, three parents have called with need for their children who have who they found out are engaged in this activity. And those three children, as we speak, Mr. Speaker, are undergoing help thanks to the Presbyterian and Methodist Church Ghana who are working with lawyer Moses Fuamwini to offer them help. Even though you don't have a bill or a legislation for it. And I know that last year, Moses Fuamwini's group helped over 50 people without legislation. But Mr. Speaker, don't forget that this is a private member's bill. When you introduce medical help, who funds it? How is it going to be sustained? Then you then introduce issues of post Possible charges on the consolidated fund, which raise challenges with Article 108. And that's why we are deleting it and saying that the offer of medical help exists. What we would rather look to do is do public education for people to know where to access that help. It doesn't need to be in the legislation, Mr. Speaker. Let us not create a trap for our detractors to go to the Supreme Court and say that this is a private member's bill that cost to the state and is imposing a charge on the, on the state. And so, Mr. Speaker, help is needed, and help is available if it needs to be in the bill. Thank you very much.